Okay, so we're going to go through either updating the firmware in the Neutron Sound Argon Accumulator or installing the software on the Teensy, which is an Arduino based chip when you're actually building the module. So you want to head to, and the website is here, Neutron Sound, neutron sound.com forward slash PDF forward slash NOA underscore build underscore manual dot PDF. Scroll down to page four. And the suggested thing is that you get used to this to start with. So head into this link. We get the Teensy Duino. Um, download files are at the top there for Mac, uh, Linux, and Windows. The first step is to actually go on the Arduino site and install the Arduino software. So we go onto the Arduino website, which is linked. Again, scroll down, and you will find versions for Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever that may be. So install this software and then from there you're going to get the Teensy Duino installer. So I'm going to run this install against just a blank background so it's a little bit easy to see what's happening. So as I'm on a Mac I load the .dmg file for the Teensy Duino. I want to open that file. So click next. Now we need to select where the actual Arduino is installed. So I put it in my applications. As I scroll down, I will see that I have installed the Arduino app. We can click next. I'm going to install all files. Click next. Click install. So this install will just take a couple of minutes. Okay, so that whole install just took around three minutes on a six year old MacBook, uh, not very high spec. Okay, so I've loaded up loaded up the Arduino app and I just need to press the button on the back of the Teensy. This is so that this finds the device. On the Arduino, I'm gonna go to tools board set to Teensy 3.1. I'm going to go to File, Examples, Teensy, Tutorial 1, Blink. So this brings up the program. There's one change to do and that's just here it says constant int LED pin equals 13. This pin number just needs to change into 13. Just like editing text, go in and delete that. Hit 13. We can then verify and then upload this code. So hit verify. And this starts to compile the sketch. And this is in real time, unlike the installing the files which I just sped up. So really quick, you could just see that Teensy there as well. I'm just moving around. Updated, really quick sketches updated. The computer actually recognized the Teams as a network device. I don't want that for now. This is asking me to press the button to activate. Press the button on the back of the board. That reboots the Teams here. Press again. Reboot is okay. So from there, so I want to go to GitHub and download everything down there. Download the whole zip. So in all the files we've got are up to date. Once we've actually got that, we want to go into the Arduino again. So it's file, and it is called uh, Neutron Sound. I've downloaded this a few times. Argon Accumulator, official firmware, firmware, and there's the official firmware from today. So I'm going to open this up. get rid of this blink example don't want to save those changes and all I need to do again then is to compile this code again so I'm going to hit verify again this is in real time compiling the sketch sending this to the teens if through the USB So I've got that Teensy there. So 
had an error there communicating with the teensy, so I'm going to push the button. It says reboot, OK. So, because we're getting this error with the teensy loader, um, it's because you need to push that button to verify and actually upload the firmware. Once that's pressed, the argon accumulator is updated and you're ready to use the device.